guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is the second part of my driftwood repaint of my wicker lamp base. So today we're going to focus on the shade. And I really want a like a French grain sack look to this, but this shade that came with the lamp is so white and it doesn't go uh, with what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same two colors that I used to get the faux driftwood effect on the lamp base and use it to create a grain sack, like a vintage grain sack look. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to take the uh, Gray Wolf, which is this one. Again, it's by Martha Stewart, there you see. And we're going to dilute it really, really <laughs> liquidy with water. And we're just going to brush it all over the white lampshade, okay? And that's going to give it more of a vintage, like a grain sacky look. I'm not even worried about like if some places are darker or lighter. <laughs> and that's Caleb in the background. And then over here, um, over there he goes. That's Caleb walking and then the little black and white one is Zappa. I can't keep him away from me. Um, but anyway, so we're, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to focus on trying to get the white shade covered with that uh, lighter color paint that we used in the Driftwood tutorial. So I'm going to show you a little bit and then we're going to pause it and I'm just going to finish it, okay? So what I've done is, let me move that out of the way, is I'm just using an old <laughs> lid and I know you can see it. I put a little puddle of paint there and then I'm just going to put water in it to make it really really liquidy and then we're just going to brush it all over. Okay so give me a second. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay so I've already started a little bit here of the effect that I want and what I'm doing again is taking that Martha Stewart Grey Wolf paint and I'm really diluting it really 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 watery with water and we're just going to sponge brush that on to the shade. Now this shade has some texture and that's really what I like because it's going to give me a more authentic um, grain sack effect when we're finished. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here. I've got my little puddle of um, paint and you can see all the water going around there and that's what I'm doing It's just really using the paint that's mixed with the water I'm really not touching inside the um, let me show you here really not touching inside where the paint puddle is it's hard to see there so I'm just using the outer limits here where the diluted paint is so bring that back up and then we're just gonna go right through here. Now it might look a little darker but when it dries it's very very light and subtle and don't worry if you have some areas that are darker than other areas because that's going to give you more of a an antiqued grain cloth effect. Now again like I said before if you do <laughs> find that it's coming out a little dark or did I say that before? I don't know. But if you do find that it's coming out a little dark, you can just go back in with a dilution of water and white paint and just a dry brush over that. And you can get that back to the uh, look you want. But I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and I'm going to finish this shade because it's hard to do it with one hand. Okay? Be right back. All right, we're done. Now I've got the entire shade covered now, and I want you to notice like the different um, effects here, as you can see, where it looks like it's old and worn and a little maybe dirty. Now this is, again, it's still kind of wet to the touch. Um, no paint's coming off of me because it's so watery, but it's not completely dry yet, so it will um, lighten up just a little bit. But the next step is we're going to take um, our painter's tape and mask off some areas and then we're going to go back in with the Martha Stewart arrowhead. Again, we use that on the lamp base for the driftwood effect. And we're going to do some grain sack lines all around here. We're going to do one really thin, one a little wider, and then another thin one. And that's going to give me the look that I want. So we're just going to let this dry and then when I come back I'm probably already going to have the sections taped off. At least for the um, thick line and then we're going to go back in and do the thin line, okay? So give us a few minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I have the first round of painter's tape to mark off 
the section that I'm going to do in the very dark gray that we used again from the base of the wicker lamp, which is um, the Martha Stewart uh, arrowhead. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do a very dry brush because we don't want to go under this tape and have it bleed. We want a very crisp edge, but not so perfect that it ruins the authenticity of like a grain sack. Um, and I will be honest, you can see these little puckers here, <laughs> and this painter's tape was um, kind of hard to put on only because it gets it's narrow here and it gets wider at the bottom. But if you had a drum shade, it'd probably be pretty easy. So. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to take um, my um, arrowhead right here and just going to do the same kind of very dry brush. We don't want a lot of paint and if you go like from the paint tape to the lampshade, you will probably have a better time not bleeding through. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to show you here. Um, what I'm doing, I'm, I do plan on getting it a little darker than this because I don't want it to be so um, muted, but I do want a crisp line, so that looks pretty good right there. And I don't mind if the um, little bit of the base coat of the lampshade shows through. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. But I will let you know first, I did like, I took the um, total height of my shade and divided it by half. And my shade's about an eight and a half inch shade. So I went um, like four and a quarter and then I did a half inch gap here. And then I made another half inch um, empty space. And then I did a quarter inch stripe right here. So it's gonna be a half inch stripe and then two quarter inch uh, stripes above and below that, so. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here and I'll be back with a completed shade. Welcome back, and there is my finished lamp. So you can see that the stripes are not perfect and that's the way I wanted it. I don't want it to be like crisp lines. I want it to look like it was handmade and it does. So I'm very happy with the project. I'm gonna uh, zoom in just a little bit. Um, hang on just a second and I'll do that. Okay, it's not the best, but I think you can get an understanding of the um, driftwood effect now. It's not such a that blonde, ugh, wicker effect. Plus, I also have the light on it, so I'm going to scroll up here, and you can see the unevenness of the paint, um, and that's what I want. I almost want to try to sand it a little bit, just to get more of that roughness and, like, where the paint might be wore off and worn, but I'm not, I don't know yet. I'm just gonna leave it like this for a while and um, see how I like it. But yeah, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know below if you try this or what you think about the look. Um, I'm Again, I'm going for like more of a French country. This is a little beachy, but um, I think that the the driftwood part really adds to the effect that I'm going for. So um, again, comment below, let me know what you think about the tutorial, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.